Hello NYWCites, I am the administrator of the NYWC message board, Robert Roddy. Hotter Than Hell 2018 was a very good show from Tropics on the Mile in Freeport, Long Island. Great place. We actually begin with a pre-show match as we saw the man born Jesus, Johnny Radke, as he defeated the returning Tito Navaja, who had not been seen I'd say in like since 2016 in NYWC. Eventually we get the main show to kick things off and we see the Beer Belly Bandits come out and they mentioned last year at Tropics they won a Battle Royal and JT Kaysen's holding a, a trophy of beer cans. A uh, gold, supposed to be like a gold trophy. One of those beer cans fell off the trophy. And Bo Pritchard had the microphone and he said that want NYWC's best to come out and we kick off with a Beer Belly Bandits Invitational Battle Royal. Among participants were J Red, Irish, Damage Inc., Alan Alvarez, Cota, Tinder Tom, Ultimo Maya, El Futuro, Tig, Angelo Andrews, Chris Bishop, and a few others I didn't recognize, and the and it was and the battle royal was won by the Beer Belly Bandits. Next up, uh, Bam Sullivan with Victoria Black defended the Fusion Championship against Brandon Watts. Uh, during this match, I forgot what Victoria had done, but referee Stephen Dumain caught her and ejected her from ringside. Uh, Brandon was about to get a pinfall, but Victoria comes running out, pulls Stephen out of the ring, and he's telling her, hey, I told you to get away from the ring, to ring leave the ringside area. Brandon eventually hits a baseball slide, nailing Victoria, and a piece of the guardrail broke. Eventually they come back in the ring and uh, Brandon Watts ends up defeating Bam Sullivan to become the new Fusion Champion. King Mega enters the ring and to congratulate Brandon and great moment for Brandon Watts. Next, our next matchup was refereed by nobody's better Michael Mastretta as we saw Flawless Blake Morris and I guess new high society member Randy Summers as they take on Irish and Jay Red. And throughout this match, uh, Mastretta was making deliberate, slow, trying to do some slow counts for Jay Red and Irish. Um, I forgot who, but somebody eventually bumped into Mastretta. Jay Red and Irish eventually hit a few double team moves. What am I saying, bumped into? I believe wasn't Miss. I think Miss Drenna took a took the heart attack from Irish and Jay Red, and eventually I forgot what double team move they used, but they took Mastretta's hand to make a three count, and enabling Irish and Jay Red to get the victory. Next up, another tag team match, which saw Cajun Crawdad and Hermit Crab. I apologize if I got their names wrong, and I apologize for not getting their tag team name. As they took on Starlet Champion Willow Nightingale and the Desolate One Rex Lawless. During this match, Willow tried to do a moonsault from the top rope. Uh, and she it seemed like she landed on Rex and Crab and Crawdad kicked Rex's knees, causing him to give Willow a tombstone pile driver. Eventually, Rex, Rex um, eventually goes after, after them, they go into the crowd, and then they go right near the water, and uh, Rex uh, pressed one of them over his head and threw him into the water. He managed to get back in the ring, enabling he and Willow to win the match by count out. Um, before... Rex and Willow's match out came TJ 
Cummerbund, and he said he should be spinning, because I guess he does DJing at Tropics from time to time, but he has this some fake replica championship belt with him, and claiming he's a YouTube guy on YouTube and such. Eventually, he's disrupted by Bull James after Cummerbund ran down the crowd, and I forgot what Bull did to this guy, but he attacked him, and Boulevard bullies were on hand to record what happened. Bull eventually took that replica belt, went right by the water, and threw it into the drink. And the Boulevard bullies said that they're that totally wanted to subscribe to their YouTube channel. Well, right after Rex and Willow's match, we had a return bout from Trust No One as Aiden Bale defeated Jaden Vallow. Right after that matchup, we saw the Greek god Papa Don go one-on-one -on -one with Matt Stryker. And during this match... <coughs> <laughs> During this match, uh, this was match was refereed by Sarah, and Papa Don kept calling her a little boy, and Papa Don and Stryker, when both were down, they tried kipping up a la Shawn Michaels, and uh, both Papa Don and Stryker had trouble doing it. Eventually, Sarah was down, I forgot how, and she kipped up. Wouldn't be surprised if Sarah had a few ended up a wrestler someday. Eventually, uh, I forgot. Uh, Matt Stryker defeats the Greek god uh, Papa Don with a pedigree. Next up, out come the two exotic dancers who normally accompany the Undressed Express to the ring for their for their match. They're in the ring, but they then out comes. Private parties, cocktail waiter, Big Daddy Cruz with a big plate of shots. But Undress Express, Jesse Vane, and Anthony Lacerra come out and disrupt. Uh, well, they attack Cruz, bringing out Private Party, Isaiah Cassidy or Kennedy, and Mark Quinn. And the match gets underway, which saw the Undress Express defeat the Private Party. Next up, we see Alvin Alvarez accompanied to the ring by Kota. I apologize for not getting their tag team name, as Alvin challenged King Mega for the heavyweight championship. Uh, before the match got away, Kota tried to challenge the king to a dance-off. I f forgot what song played, and Co King uh, King uh, did some attack Kota and. The match was on, and King Mega defeated Alvin Alvarez to retain the heavyweight championship. After the match, King actually came back out afterwards, and he decided he was going to break the fourth wall and point out that ring announcer Andy Miller is in charge of the music, and he handles the ring announcing, and at that point, the microphone wasn't working. Why, NYWC? Why is it nearly every show the microphone poops out? I had my megaphone in my bag, but I didn't bring it out due to the fact it was a small crowd. Well, it wasn't a sportatorium-sized crowd, as we know. I mean, Andy, next time that microphone has trouble with that microphone, come to me. I got the megaphone. So King basically tosses Andy out of the ring. King then um, said he was going to ring announce the next match, which saw the Spirit Squad's Mike Mondo go one-on-one -on -one with Joey Conway. Uh, Joey Conway eventually defeated Mike Mondo with a look like a frog splash from the top rope and looked like Conway injured his arm and many of the wrestlers had come out to help him out of the ring and thankfully there were two paramedics and an ambulance waiting on, on, you know, on standby. Event then Andy Miller comes back out to bring announce the main event, which was a Freeport street fight, as we saw the Benson Bros, CJ and Rad Brad, challenge representing the rep, 
Nate Carter and Dave McCall for the Tag Team Championship. Uh, these guys brought uh, garbage cans, ladders. Uh, I remember CJ airplane spinning a ladder. Uh, Nate Carter took a big shovel and it broke when it hit the hit CJ still spinning the ladder. <coughs> Eventually, Chris Bishop hits the ring, and mostly everybody, just about nearly everybody who wrestled on the show earlier in the night, they uh, come out. Uh, Jade Vallo climbs to the roof of Tropics, which is right above the bar. And uh, King Mega eventually goes up to the roof himself. He catches Vallo and he chokes slams him off the roof onto all the wrestlers in the ring and basically, basically uh, knocking them all down like a bunch of bowling pins. And amongst the chaos, everybody else went left to go to the back and the match was still going and uh, I believe CJ got put through a table and uh, enabling the rep Carter and McCall to retain the tag team championship and uh, King Mega was celebrating with their victory with them to pretty much end the show uh, this show ended just after 8 p.m. and uh, during the Freeport Street fight, Raw was on. Bet I wasn't going to stick around and watch it. Yeah, personal notes time. Great seeing Shane, Greg Gruber. Uh, I know John Curse, I don't know if he arrived late or I just didn't catch him. I know he was there. I did not see Jim Lundis there. Lundis, I mentioned you. Um. Vinny the Guido, Michelle, uh, yeah. huh. memorable quiz. It is actually one memorable quote. I'll tell you right now, Robert. Andy Miller, when I went on the next, when he was about to introduce the next match, and I asked, "Who's next, Andy?" Andy, you're doing great as ring announcer. Just be glad I'm not putting you what I put Legend Larry Legend through in the past. Speaking of ring announcing, I think King Mega could have definitely be a future ring announcer in the event uh, when he when he's done as an active wrestler. Uh, Bo Pritchard, that was an impressive T-shirt you had, man. I mean, if you look. I don't know if you plan on selling those ba those bad boys. That would be great. On the back it said Hasbro's before. Uh, I uh, before the show started, I did a had done a Facebook live video due to the bla blaring sun, you know, to the point where you couldn't even see me. I had to like get up and I, that's why I didn't talk in the beginning of that particular video. I sure hope to make that a regular thing every month, especially considering that NYWC is returning home to the Sportatorium in Deer Park, Long Island on Saturday, September 29th as they present Till I Collapse. Now on that show I'd like to see King Mega defend the Heavyweight Championship one-on-one -on -one with Bull James. I'd like to see Newly crowned future champion Brandon Watts have a take on two former future champions, Bam Sullivan, who he defeated for the belt, and another former future champion, Mouse. Uh, I can see uh, Nate Carter and Dave McCall defend the tag team championship against. Uh, Yeah, I don't even know who I'd like to see them defend the belts against. <sighs> I sure would like to see someday a rematch between Matt Stryker and the Greek god Papa Don. Now, I before I even went out to tro to to this place, Tropics on the Mile, I did see their look up their menu on the internet 
and their food is so pricey. I didn't want to take the risk of going all broke. In addition, while on my way back to my seat from the ba- from using the bathroom, I did see a hot dog stand charging five dollars for a hot dog. You get, man, I can find somebody else to pay for that. I am not. I would not pay more than two dollars for a hot dog. Hell, just last year the hot dog, the price for hot dogs at the Sportorium went up to three dollars. Oh, by the way, since uh, this is like the second summer in a row, Tropics on the Mile had NYWC action. Uh, uh, Shane, John, you know, it would be great if you guys could try to, I don't know if you could try or if, I know the place gets booked probably every Friday night and every weekend in the summertime, but it would be great if you could could try to do a show, have a show there on Friday night or Saturday night. Or maybe try Sunday afternoon in the in the summer months. It was definitely great to be there. and Very cool setting for a wrestling event. Those uh, chairs right behind me were nice and comfy. Uh, too bad too bad it was in the second row. Because, you know, it was still, that metal chair I was sitting on was a little rough to sit on. Okay, what's Michael Mastretta going to do next? I mean, refereed on this show. He had a ticket for trust no one. I mean, is this guy going to keep popping up? I mean, he can't wrestle anymore. So what's he going to do next? Be manage somebody? uh, Be a timekeeper? All these little technicalities that keep him that that have him continue to come back uh, hmm. uh, hopefully my favorite NYWCI Jessica and Leanne will be returning for Till I Collapse on Saturday night September 29th and uh Alright, well, I think that pretty much, much will do it. Didn't expect this uh, video to go this long. But definitely can't wait for until I collapse Saturday, September 29th, as NYWC kicks off their fall season. Sure, the, we- sure the weather will have cooled off by that time, but that doesn't mean things are going to continue to heat up. And that's another reason why NYWC rules. <laughs>